Hey everybody, we're up to box number 11 and it looks like we've got a lot of vintage commercial sets here. Um, I'll just do a quick go through. That's a cute one. There's, I, I did just kind of a, a quick, quick look and um, we've got kids things and some movie star things. This is the folder, but uh, it doesn't appear to be any dolls with it. I do love the folder though. So many Blondie books were done. And this is a very nice one. Oh, there were several books done. There's stand-ups and punch-outs uh, in this smaller format and uh, we've shown a couple of them in the magazine. Oh, here's a cut set of Sweet 16. Here's a nice Claire McArdle, American designer. This is from 1956. I love the page designs with the, with the grid in the background. That's one of my favorite books. Here's a nice Cover Girls. Shackman did a reprint of this, and I've never seen the original. Of course, it's bigger than the... Uh, than the reprint. Two Aries. Here's another Blondie. Uh, this just looks like a random cover. A little slumber party. Nice 1940s book. Here's a beautiful copy of 7 and 17. What's this say? to Elaine Yeager. Oh, must have been a gift from somebody from 1949, an inscription, that's cool. Colors are wonderful in this. Oh, look. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is neat, the die cut pages. It's not a paper doll, but uh, very appealing and then a little house in the end cool beans farm set oh and it's got a nice barn to put together ah peter rabbit stand-ups it looks a little discolored i think we had a better quality one earlier world's fair this was copyright 1961, it looks like. Nice one. One of the wood dolls. Nurse. This is a very nice quality copy of the Coke Crowd. The colors are excellent. Statuette dolls. Again, these, you know, practically wooden dolls. They're really thick cardboard. It's a nice, nice condition. Great clothes. Oh, how sweet. Paper doll and coloring book. Ricky and Andy. The colors are fantastic. These are, seem to be a little pale though. Oh, those are good. Well, this is just very sweet. Those are some vibrant colors for the era. It seems like there were a number of books done called Fiesta. Oh, here's some cutout people. Paper doll family. And we get a few more. There's quite a few in this box. There's another cut set. 
Charlie McCarthy. This looks like a, I think this is a color copy. Yeah, because look how white the paper is on the back. I wonder if anyone has added up how many bridal paper dolls have been done. Dozens and dozens, I would think, over the years. Looks like a really nice quality Jeanette McDonald. Early 40s, another early 40s, Sonia Henny. Oh, looks like we're in a star pile here. I don't remember seeing this Liz Taylor. A lot of Liz Taylors were done, but... Oh, I really like the clothes. Oh, that's the back. I like the clothes in here a lot. Very, very nicely done, partly cut though, but I would guess this would have been really inspirational to Marilyn and she took the time to try and piece it together, drawing in the space that was cut out from the doll. Mmm, a little bit cut out, but I'm not going to open this up, but I'm gonna guess the clothing pages are intact. This is one of the large dolls, comes in two parts. Oh, just one part, and she unfolds to be a great big doll. It's a nice condition and the clothes are still in their pocket. Claudette Colbert. This is one of the softer covers. Nice dinosaur. Another Sonia. Rock Hudson. Let's have a look at Rock. It's in super condition. Great colors. Really nice and vibrant. Cool. A lot of movie starlet paper dolls were done. Looks like it was... Partly, should we see if we should can have a look at this? Look how uh, red their lips are. I wonder if somebody colored their lips and I think so, and fingernails. Oh, this is one that was, somebody tried to put, put it back together. Yep. <laughs> Teddy Lamar. See, I don't remember seeing this Liz Taylor. Is this the one we already looked at, but a complete one? I think I'm looking at too many paper doll books. Love these clothes. Wow. Yeah, this is the one. I remember that. So this one is complete. It's an excellent condition. Mmm, very good, Liz Taylor. Here's a very nice Judy Garland. That's in beautiful condition. This would be another early 40s. 1945, this is. Yeah, nice condition. Oh my goodness. This looks like a good Betty Grable. Is it? No, it's the color copy of Betty Grable. Fooled me. Looks like a couple. No, it looks like a copy. And then is this the original? This is the original. And then somebody put together a copy because again, you can see those white, white backs.
The Jean Autry Museum produced a number of these books uh, for a while, but that's they've been out of print for a long time. I really like this Lana Turner. Nice likeness. Falling apart a little bit, but the colors are good. Mm, those are fun, fun clothes. Well, this is two copies of this Judy Garland. Look at that. They're both vintage. Marilyn would often make a note of the clothes on the backs of the pages if she could identify the uh, movie it was from. That, that would happen a lot. You would have a paper doll book and only an outfit here or there would be from a movie. Another Shirley Temple. These are, these are good condition Shirley's. Okay, here's another Jeanette McDonald. Marilyn Monroe with those hardboard dolls. Can we see if the clothes are intact? I'm going to say yes because the dolls are still stuck right onto the covers. Yep, there they are. In sheets. Looks like loose sheets inside. No, it's a, it's a, it's a fold-out. Stapled, sorry. Clever. Many, many, many Liz Taylor paper doll books. Look at that Debbie Reynolds in the Starlet category here. It's a beautifully painted uh, Jane Withers. Paper doll book and clothes. Really nicely done. A lot of good star books in this pile. And this again looks like an Alice Bay original book and then a color copy of the book as well. These are Hilda Maloche clothes. Yes, Hilda Maloche all the way. We don't see many uh, male paper dolls. There's Mickey Rooney. I don't know if this is a um, if it has clothes or just stand-ups. Let's see, stand-up scenes. I think maybe all stand-up scenes. I don't think I've ever seen this. I've, I've seen the cover of it, but not the whole book. Fold, folder set of Ava. And quite a few Debbie Reynolds books were done. I don't think I'm too fond of the likeness in this one. Debbie. I really like the folder design of this, Janet Lee. Nice Grace Kelly. 
see. Storm. Let's see how what else we've got over here. Just a few left. Yet another Debbie Reynolds photo on the cover, and that's oh hey, look how cute that is. The doll goes in the pocket and turns into a dress. I like that. Another early Lana Turner. This is an in incredibly good condition. The corner is dented a little bit, but it's really nicely intact. Closed by Hilda Maloche. Colors are so vibrant. Nice. So the 40s and the 50s were certainly the heyday for our movie star paper dolls. Oh, this one is a little bit stuck in there. I won't take that out. There's Hedy Lamar again. Love the clothes in this book. Again, looks like Meloche. Wonderfully vibrant colors. Oh, several June Allisons in a row. And then I just have, I have one left. I've got a Betty Grable, but it doesn't even seem like there's anything in it. Is there? Nope. <laughs> it's just the, just the covers, but gorgeous dolls. And then that Shirley Temple. So that's box 11.